Amanda Nunes hints at potential comeback. She says, I still feel like a champion, so we will see. She says, I was nervous watching the title fight. Don't know why, but I was very nervous. It was mixed feelings. I was happy and sad. When I saw Rocky with the belt, it was I was okay. I wasn't upset or anything like that. I think I did the right decision retiring, resting a little bit, taking care of the babies. Can't leave Nina with two babies by herself, so I've been enjoying it too. My whole life was fighting related, so I was not really able to enjoy my 20s. My 20s passed like that. I'm 35 now, and now I'm able to go back to Brazil, stay a little bit with my friends and family, enjoy and see what happens. And she also says, I'm still young, fresh. We never know what might happen. We have a lot of things to do. I've got to figure out a bunch of things at home still, what I'm going to do and see what happens. So I think the door is open there for Amanda. Maybe she does need a bit of time and perhaps she could come back in the summer if she is open to come back. But it also sounds like the typical speeches that we've heard before in the past, you know, from people who retire. They're like, oh, you know, I'm retired now, but if I get the right opportunity, and this is something kind of GSP has been opened with, if I get the right opportunity, you know, that's kind of obviously, obviously the mega bucks, then maybe I would come back for it. And I think that's what she's kind of implying here. Now, Chael Sonnen last week done a video about a potential UFC 300 match, which would surprise everybody. And that would be Amanda Nunes versus Kayla Harrison. I think that'd be a good one. It's not necessarily UFC 300 headliner. So maybe the time frame doesn't add up. You know, if you think about training camp and everything like that, if if you're going to fight in april then maybe late march you want to get in try to try, no no not late march late february she'll want to get into camp for so is that not really enough time i don't know my guess if she does come back it'd probably for be for a big card in the summer perhaps but uh, at the end of the day you've also got connor returning in the summer so well says she's been woken up too many times wants to punch someone in the face again <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's that's what fighters are really open about, aren't they, after retirement? They still get the itch. You know, GSP is a prime example of that. He's been, he said that he still gets the itch even to this day. And he's said, you know, if if the right call comes up, then maybe he'd, uh, he, he could accept. And I think GSP's only really left the door open to a potential Khabib fight. That's the, That would have been the mega one, but Khabib's... Like, I think Adam, he's just never going to turn up. So that's why GSP never really returned. But he's always in shape, which is insane. He's constantly training still. He looks like the best shape he's ever been in. So, and he's he's learned a lot more since he's last, he last fought. So, yeah. Um, maybe we'll see Amanda Nunes down the line. I'm not sure. Skeptical about it, but we'll see. <laughs>